You probably ask yourself, what project should I build to put in my portfolio? And all the gurus will tell you something like, build something that you're passionate about. Go to the local coffee shop and make them a website. Build a real world project. Nonsense. If you learn how to code without any real application, no pun intended, you will not get a job. Here's the one sentence that's gonna make you money as a developer. If you solve a problem, then you will get paid because you'll prove competence and you'll also gain coding experience. It's not only about the skills that you are learning, but it's about how you use those skills. There are people out there making bank with minimum effort in terms of coding, and there are the others who know everything and still flip burgers at McDonald's. First group is solving a real world problem. The second one is playing coding. After watching this video, you'll know what three projects to build to make you stand out so you can get paid as a developer. This is the first thing that you need to understand. Problems cause pain. And if you want to create value, aka getting paid, you need to alleviate that pain. And there are five types of pain that people experience. Managing time, saving or making more money, improving health and fitness, improving relationships with other people and getting good at hobbies. So let's start with the weird one, improving relationships. I came up with an idea just now, it sounds crazy, but hear me out. Using AI to get dates on Tinder. One of the most frustrating things with using Tinder is having to swipe left, right, messaging people and following up with them. What if you can fix this problem for someone? You save them time and also improve their relationships. So the first idea is to create a Chrome extension that uses AI to detect the user's ideal type. After several hundreds of swipes, the algorithm that you will create will learn your type and can swipe for you automatically. Then you can feed the algorithm hundreds of conversations that you can find on Reddit and then the algorithm can text on your behalf. Simple concept that will take some time to implement. And you might have to read the terms and conditions and see if this project can be built. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just brainstorming with you to get your mind going. Here are a few steps that you can take to complete this project. First, learn how to create a Chrome extension. This should take you one hour. Learn how to use an image detection AI like TensorFlow. This might take you a couple of weeks. Learn how to use the ChatGPT API to create responses based on datasets. This might take you another week. You don't need to know everything from the get-go. It's about having a goal and finding the resources to help you achieve that goal, just like in the real world. If you're interested in mentorship to skyrocket your coding skills and learn faster so you can get a job in tech, click the first link in the description. And if you want access to a bunch of courses, coaching courses, and a developer roadmap, click the second link in the description. You know how everyone complains about not having enough time? The first step you need to take in order to improve something is by first measuring the thing you want to improve. So then you can create an application that tracks the web traffic. You can show the data in different charts and you can create weekly and monthly averages. You can then give scores and insights to users based on how they spend their time and gamify the idea of using less social media and more productivity tools and websites. The user can create a list of good websites and bad websites. And if the user spends more time on the good list versus the bad list, then the user wins. Another feature that you could create for this application is a community of hyper productive people then the users can compete on being the most productive it's a very similar idea with this band that i have here it's called the whoop band it tracks my fitness but this application will be related to productivity the next project idea is all about learning trading so new traders learn different strategies and use a training method called back testing it means logging their trades without actually buying or selling anything they typically use a spreadsheet to keep track of their trades, but spreadsheets are ugly and boring. So go ahead and find one of those spreadsheets and convert them into an app. There are hundreds of companies that are getting into tech right now and run their entire business on a spreadsheet. Creating this app will teach you coding, product design, management. And once you start researching this topic on YouTube, Facebook groups or Reddit threads, you'll gain more ideas and inspiration. So I want you to take action and build these projects that I showed you. There's so much to being a programmer than just writing code. And in this day and age, 
you have more than enough tools to make these projects, but you have to pick one and stick with it for a long period of time. Three months is the minimum time you would need to build one of these projects. Not only you will get paid, but you could potentially help someone. And who knows, if you learn a bit of marketing, you launch the next SaaS that's gonna take over. I'm honestly telling you, there are people who make tens of thousands of dollars per month by creating and marketing SaaS products just like this. You have all the resources in the world to achieve this goal. Over the past six months, this is the direction we took in the mentorship program. We are working on a project management application. It's a team-based project where at the moment, I think eight or 10 developers work on different parts of an application so we can simulate the real work environment. We even have a designer, we have team meetings every week. It's absolutely insane. But these guys that are in the mentorship program are learning how to communicate, how to use Git, how to review code, how to estimate tasks, how to create tasks, how to push back on management, aka me. They learn how to be part of the team. You know how in all jobs you need to know how to work in a team? You cannot simulate this by yourself. And this is gonna hold you back in any interview scenario. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it. If you're gonna learn code in the fastest humanly way possible, be part of a community and learn how to work in a team in a big project, then click the first link in the description. If you wanna learn and check the community that I'm running before joining, click the second link in the description. You can get all our roadmap of projects, see our live calls where the students get support and they are getting unstuck. And you can see our interview prep calls, which are run every week. This is more than any self-taught developer or bootcamp grad has access to. All right, peace out.